started right here in Ohio, got small business loans because of the Recovery Act, because of the work that these guys did. It was the right thing to do to extend unemployment benefits and make COBRA cheaper for people caught up in the recession until they could get back on their feet. There's probably not a single person here who doesn't know somebody who either got unemployment benefits or used COBRA to make sure they could keep health insurance for their families when they lost their job. That was the right thing to do. It was the right thing to do to help governors like Ted avoid massive cuts to Medicaid and layoffs to teachers and police officers. And it was the right thing to do to invest in this town's infrastructure. We put all of that stuff in the recovery package because it was the right thing to do. Now, we've got a long way to go before this recovery is felt in the lives of our neighbors and in all the communities that have lost so much ground in this recession and in years before. But despite that sobering reality, despite all the naysayers in Washington who are always looking for the cloud in every silver lining, the fact is our economy is growing again. Last month, we gained 290,000 jobs. So think about this. We gained more jobs last month than any time in four years. And it was the fourth month in a row that we've added jobs. And almost all of those jobs are in the private sector. Everybody talks about the, the, the government was doing this, government was doing that. No, what we did was we encouraged the private sector, gave them the funding, uh, the, the financing, the support, the infrastructure support in order to invest and get the economy moving again. And last month also brought the largest increase in manufacturing employment since 1998. 1998, because I believe in manufacturing and I believe in manufacturing right here in the United States of America. We can compete against anybody. Youngstown can compete against anybody. Got the best workers. There's no reason why we can't compete with anybody if you guys have the support that you need. And you know what? I think those critics who have been trying to badmouth these efforts, they know it's working. These folks who opposed us every step of the way, predicting nothing but failure, they know it's working because <laughs> this always uh, puts a smile on my face. Even as they've tried to score political points attacking these members of Congress, a lot of them go home and then they claim credit for the very things they voted against. They'll show up at the, to cut the ribbons. They'll put out a press release. They'll send the mailings touting the very projects that they were opposing in Washington. They're trying to have it both ways. I know that's hard to imagine in politics, that a politician might try to have it both ways. But here's the fact. If the Just Say No crowd had won out, if we had done things the way they wanted to go, we'd be in a deeper world of hurt than we are right now. Families wouldn't have seen those tax cuts. Small businesses wouldn't have gotten those loans or those health care tax credits that they're now eligible for. Insurance companies would still be deciding who they want to cover and, and when they want to cover them and dropping your health care coverage whenever they felt like it. The steady progress we're beginning to see across America would not exist. And neither would the plant that you're about to build. So I invite anybody who thinks we shouldn't have taken those actions that we took last year or made those investments to come to Youngstown and explain to us why that plant shouldn't be built. Come, come talk to Ted Strickland and the mayor. Come, come tell us why companies like this in towns like Youngstown shouldn't be given every chance to expand and, and add new jobs. Tell us why small businesses shouldn't receive tax credits so they can help purchase health insurance for their employees. Explain why seniors shouldn't get help paying for their medications when they hit that gap called the donut hole. Explain why we should tell families that children with pre-existing conditions aren't going to be able to get health insurance because 
uh, we decided that insurance companies should be able to do whatever they wanted. They need to explain why they would be nothing to make do, doing nothing to solve some of these problems that have been plaguing America for years now, decades. So I, I'm here to say that's not how we deal with crisis. That's not what America is about. We did not become the greatest economic power that the world has ever known by avoiding problems. The United States of America does not play for second place. We step up, we face our challenges, we compete, and we win. And that's something we should all agree on. But everybody should be able to agree on that. For all the things we've gotten done despite the unified, determined opposition of one party, imagine how much further we could have gotten if I'd gotten a little help. If people decide to step up, it doesn't mean they have to agree with me on everything, but step up. Take responsibility. Don't just play political games. You're welcome. I truly, it is not too late to work together. Not when there's so much progress to make, so many more success stories like this one to write. Because we're not Democrats first or Republicans first, we are Americans first. That's what we're about. So I know it's still tough. I know a lot of times the future still feels uncertain. And I'm not going to stand here and pretend that things are back to normal or even close to where they need to be. I read too many letters each night from people who are hurting, who are, who are still out of work. So I know things are still tough out there. But I will tell you one thing. It's people like you, people in towns like Youngstown, all across America, that I'm thinking about every single day when I go to the Oval Office. I ran for office to make sure not just you, but your kids and your grandkids have a shot at the American dream. Because I wouldn't be in office if somebody hadn't worked hard to give me a shot at the American dream. I didn't come from money. I didn't come from a powerful family. I got a name nobody could pronounce. But somebody gave me a shot. Somebody made an investment in me. That's why I ran for president. That's why I wake up every morning in, insisting to everybody who works for me that we're not going to rest until the future brightens for middle class Americans all across this country, hard working people. And I'm absolutely convinced that the steps that we're taking are going to help us bring about a better future for America. I believe. I believe that seeking new markets for our exports is the right thing to do, and that enforcing the rules of free and fair trade is the right thing to do for our workers and for our companies. I believe, I believe that investing in a clean energy economy to create good jobs of the future, building pipe for natural gas, but also building windmills and steel and, 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 uh, and turbines and advanced batteries for the new generation of electric cars. That's the right thing to do for our economy and for our environment. I believe that raising standards in our schools and making college more affordable and upgrading our community colleges is the right thing to do so that every child has a chance to live out their dreams. I believe that reforming our health care system to crack down on the worst practices of the insurance companies and giving everybody a decent shot at getting health insurance is the right thing to do. And trying to control costs on premiums is the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do for families, and it's the right thing to do for businesses. So we're going to keep up every effort to rebuild our economy and restore some security for the middle class, a middle class forged in plants just like this one, so that places like Youngstown don't just survive year after year, but they are thriving year after year. And as long as I have the privilege of being your president, I'm going to keep fighting for a future that is brighter for this community and for Ohio and for the United States of America, the country that we love. God bless you. God bless all the work here. God bless the United States of America. Appreciate you.